Welcome back to P1. Today we're going to look at integrating x to the power 9. Now, first thing, if you haven't seen integration before, it is just the reverse process of differentiating. So, if I think of differentiating, um, and we'll start with, say, x to the power 6. If I differentiate this, it became... We would multiply by the 6 and take 1 away from the power. Now, if I think of starting with that, integrating is how I get back to the start. So to integrate with something, I will add 1 to the power. This becomes 6 and divide by my new power. And what you can see is that Differentiating goes this way, integrating then goes backwards. Okay, so in terms of algebra, if I start off and I differentiate, I multiply by my power and take one away from my power. And this is differentiating. Now, if I start with an integration, so I'm going to start with x to the n. When I'm integrating something, I need to first add 1 to the power. And then I need to divide by that new power. And that's essentially what we're doing. However, there are a few things we need to be careful of. And let's give you an example. If I was differentiating x to the power of 5 plus 7, when I differentiate it, I get... 5x to the power 4 and the 7 disappears that constant disappears if I start and think about integrating this 5x to the power 4 so I'm going to integrate that so let's put it down 5x to the power 4 I would add 1 to the power divide by my power and then that gives me x to the power 5 what you see is actually in this case, this particular case, what we started off with over here isn't what we ended up with here. And it's because of this constant. And there's no way of initially working out what that constant is. So what we have to do is when we do integrate something, we add a plus C for a constant. And that way then if we differentiate, it'll always work out or integrate, it works out. So we got that constant and that's really important. So if we think back to the start now, dy by dx, say, equals x to the power n. When I integrate it, I will get x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. And that will look the same even if I've got it in the form with f of x. Okay, now it's worth noting that n cannot equal minus 1. Okay, this wouldn't work for that as you couldn't divide by 0. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. So let's have a look at this one. Find y when dy by dx equals 3x to the power 5. So integrating will give me y equals, I've got 3x, add 1 to my power, divide by my new power, plus my constant. 3 over 6 is a half, so we get x to the power 6 over 2 plus c. Next example, find y when dy by dx equals x to the power 5 plus 2x cubed minus 1 over root x. So the first thing I want to do is just deal with that 1 over root x. Just like when you differentiate you want to make sure everything's on the top in a form that you can use. So we want it in terms of an indice. So that is my dy by dx. Now I'm going to integrate. So remember, add 1 to the power, divide by your new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by your new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by your new power. And once you've done that, then we can go about sorting this out. So x to the power of 6 over 6 can stay as it is. 
2 x to the power of 4 over 4 so this is going to become x to the power of 4 over 2 and then we've got x to the power of half divided by a half so that's going to become 2 and I'm going to put that as a root x now I should always remember that plus c and I should go back and make sure I just put the plus c on the first line we did the integration on as well now it's the same process even if I'm dealing with the terminology in terms of f of x exactly the same thing so my first step is to sort it all out onto one line so all onto a top line remember that 1 over 5 wouldn't change the x would come up and become to the power minus 4 then I'm going to integrate so I write it down add 1 to the power divide by my new power add 1 to the power divide by my new power add 1 to my power divide by my new power and my plus c so here you can see 8 divided by 4 is 2 so 2x two to the power 4 now i'm dividing by this fraction 3 over 2 and that's the same as times and by 2 over 3 so that means the 3s will end up cancelling so i get 2x to the 3 over 2 minus because we're dividing by that minus 3 so changing the sign and we've got x to the minus 3 over 15 and as always i do like to try and put it in the same kind of form as the original question and that means i'm taking this x to the minus 3 back to the bottom but of course i could have left it on this line here and would have been perfectly correct now let's give you a few to try yourself. 